Hey everyone, it's Simon here from AQ Outdoors and Aquabatics. Just checking in with a quick review after my first season of use of the Dagger Rewind. This guy here is the large, because we don't have any mediums in the shop at the moment, um, but you'll just have to pretend this is a medium, because that's the one that I paddled this year. I was a total Axiom fangirl before this, and I am a, a die-hard Dagger paddler, so you have to take some of this maybe with a grain of salt. But I paddled the Axiom for many years. It was really the only boat I paddled, other than my creek boat. Uh, so I wasn't really sure how I would like the rewind, uh, but the short, the, short, the short story is I really, really enjoy this boat. Um, it improved on a lot of areas of the Axiom that I didn't know the Axiom didn't really perform. So basically what they've done with the rewind is they've created a boat that is nine feet to nine and a half-ish feet long, depending on the, si on, depending on the size. Small's a bit smaller than that. Um, lots of bow rocker, lots of stern rocker. Obviously in the mold of that half slice boat with the nice slicey stern. Uh, it's super fast, nine feet, pretty narrow in the middle. So I really dig the speed. Once you get tracking, like a cross current, or if you're lining up for a booth or something like that, once it's on its tracks, it's on tracks. It's fantastic. The flip side of that is, is once it's going, it's actually quite hard to turn um, until it slows down a little bit. The outfitting that they have, the uh, the Contour Ergo outfitting is bomber as always. I really like this outfitting. You have the ratchet strap here, which allows you to cinch your knees and your thighs up into the thigh braces, giving you more contact points. It's relatively easy to adjust the trim. What I've heard people talk about is, you know, the business position and the party position of the seat in this boat. Business position, if you're running harder white water and you want it to be a bit more forgiving, slide it forwards a bit. Party position, have it in the back nice and it makes stern squirting even easier. So on that, I've run this I've run this boat in up to class four plus, pretty continuous white water. And as long as you're on top of it and you're moving quickly and you're paddling fairly aggressively, the stern doesn't seem super catchy. As soon as you're moving slowly uh, or you're not being proactive in your paddling, it certainly tends to punish people from what I've seen. So with that in mind, I think this boat uh, it's a great boat for intermediate to advanced paddlers. I think confident, like water confident beginners would do well in it because it'll teach great boating skills, good edge awareness and everything. But it is a little bit, it's not super forgiving at those early stages of learning to paddle. Uh, so the hull of this guy here is, it's pretty dagger. Like it's, you've got a ton of bow rocker here, ton of stern rocker at the end. You got the sharp edges on the back. Um, I find, yeah, like I say, once you get this boat up to speed, it'll go where you want to go. It'll go that way forever. Uh, it is just a little hard to turn once it's up to speed. When it's going slow, it's pretty easy to turn, but it's a lot less stable at that point. In summary, what I think about this boat is I think if you're an intermediate or advanced paddler and you're looking for something to paddle um, that's going to push your skills a little bit on whatever white water you're comfortable paddling, so if you're a class three boater and you jump in this thing, it's gonna create a real element of, a really dynamic element to the paddling. It also allows you to play a bit more than something like a mamba. If you're an advanced boater and you're paddling class four and class five, I think, you know, although it's not a creek boat, I think big water, it's awesome. Uh, and just, you know, that continuous kind of white water, it's a great way to be able to sort of play your way down the river a little bit. And as long as you're confident and aggressive with it, it'll reward good paddling, but it will punish sloppy paddling for sure uh, but yeah for me paddled it for a season now thoroughly enjoying it one of my favorite boats that i've ever paddled in the 20 plus years i've been paddling it's kind of got the good bits of the rpm without the bad bits of the rpm it's got the good bits of the axiom without the bad bits of the axiom uh, it's great for me to teach in and uh, for the white water i'm running these days which is pretty much nothing harder than class four plus i can pretty much run it all really confidently in this and, and really really enjoy it so yeah, I hope you found the review useful, this completely subjective review useful. Uh, if you want to check out the product, we, we also have some, uh, some blog posts on this at our website, which is aqoutdoors.com. If, uh, if you have any questions, just post them in the comments below and we'll get right back to you. Thanks so much for checking in. Have a good one.